here we go all done so paper mache and PVA over the foam push down there's loads of layers you can see there's a straight cut there that's because the platform back goes along there where it's more sort of like lumpy bumpy here so yeah it's looking good that little bit that he's pushing down more so that will uh, dry and set overnight leave it a day or two that'll be completely dry but dry and set overnight and then i'll maybe uh put a, a layer or two of green on there so i can visualize things a bit better there we go greened down with the first coat still shiny because it's still wet so now you can see the shape of the terrain a bit more the contours and so on so that's my central bit there's going to be obviously a platform there with a the station there's going to be some more platform there there's going to be the good siding there and so on so that's going to be grassed obviously with my ground foam so that's all going to look quite different once it's finally done but as a basic idea and a basic concept we can see that that has filled that space quite nicely whether it look realistic or not i don't know whether it would have been realistic to have something like that i don't know but uh, i think it's better than just more gray more flat so it's a bit of shape bit of contour it's that time of day again time for the ballast so i've got two one and a half bags of javis fine ballast in gray to go and do all of that i'm sure that'll be more than enough the trick to ballasting is to do it neatly and to keep everything as low down and tight as possible so to do that as you can see there it's looking quite good although it's not finished off yet and i haven't done the sides i go along and lightly sprinkle a small amount in from where I then just use my finger to rub it in, push it in, push it along and get it as smooth as I can. Try and keep it away from the rails as much as possible. The bits that are poking up I mean because they make a bit of a noise and they can derail things. Some pieces are obviously bigger than others so you want to try and push them down. tighter the better there you go see that's looking a lot better there's that one let's get them out of the way there you go get them smooth you want to have it as smooth as you can and then afterwards you go over with your watered down pva to bed it in i'm happy with this bit i've flattened out between the sleepers I've put either side of the, the rails. This is where my good sheds, loading sheds are going to be. With obviously my platform down the middle here. So I'm going to start gluing that. So I've got my PVA, which is mixed 50-50 PVA and water with some washing up liquid in there as well. So I'm just going to run that down with it open, down the center here first of all, to get those bits in the middle stuck. And then I'll start putting it onto these bits in the middle of there. There you go, so you can see where I've run it along and where it's soaking in. So, so if I can just hold that there like that and you'll see the process. So literally just a gentle squeeze, I'm just putting a gentle bead down the centre. So the fairy liquid or washing up liquid mine isn't actually fairy i don't think is breaking up the surface tension of the water which is mixed with the glue which means that it will run better and soak in better so now obviously i want to start putting it in along here so it's going to soak in over time so i don't need to be totally uniform but I do need to put a fair covering over all of it and I'll be able to see what's been done and what hasn't later because obviously it, it will look lighter darker what have you so there'll be a change in color and uh, density I suppose is the word 
Coming back. A little bit more. Right, it's looking good now. So it's all soaking in nicely. That's going to dry over the next few hours. And then tomorrow, when I've got some more time, I'll do some more. I'll do some of the bits I haven't yet got to. So I've done my, my siding there as well. Done the majority of this inner oval on the inside of the track, but obviously I need to do along the outsides here. That's going to fit in position there. So my ballast will come up to here wider, and then obviously I've got to put ballast in here. But I'll need to mark that with a pencil so that I know how far I can go. Because at the back, you see I've I've made a cutting. And then this will be sand and grey, like like this, to put my concrete paving. Or it might be a a, a, a shingle path or something. Might not be grey, might just leave it as a dirt track because here will be my bridge going across. Paint dry and a lot of the ballasting done, not all of it. I just thought, right, I'll pop my buildings on just temporarily, just, just drop them into place just so I can get a better visualisation of how things are going to look. Because I've still got, obviously, to finish off the ballasting uh, and put on the, the grass. And I'm, I'm thinking that looks pretty good now. I've got a couple more signal boxes arriving on their way so um i'm going to put one here i think probably or maybe there not sure um haven't decided on the other one but yeah so the the hills or the terrain there that's looking okay that's not looking too big and too high so that's nice um what i am wondering see before i've done like that put the put the ballast between the rails and so on now do I fill that gap or do I put like dirt track between that? That's something to decide. This is obviously going to have the dirt and concrete. There's too much of a height difference with the um, ballast. So I'm going to have to put another layer of sand, uh, which I'll I'll put with, mix with PVA or put the PVA on afterwards. Um, because that's that's too high it's too much of a difference and that seems to be the same here as well so this area that's that's my kind of goods area my industrial area my tarmac area is going to have to be built up um a reasonable height difference um partly because my ballast seems to have come out quite wide quite a lot wider than than intended I don't know if it if it actually seems to spread or not as you do it. You can see I've not done this side, I've done that. So I've used one one and a half pound bag of ballast already. Generally speaking, I'm happy. I mean the ballast always looks over scale anyway, but I do quite like the look. Um, I am thinking that what I should have done was what I did consider as a bit of an odd one, which was to use roofing felt instead of this sort of ballast i thought well that would be quite easy and that'd be fairly in keeping with going for something from the 80s so you cut your roofing felt and stick it down and paint it now i've not seen that mentioned anywhere and you probably will think well that's a bit weird but let me give you an idea right look at this stuff so this is this is stuck down textured stuff it's about the same sort of size as we're gonna run through the kitchen spark plugs ignore those so look at this so this is the this is the guinea pig hutch we ain't got guinea pig anymore it's long dead but we've still got a hutch for some reason so you know you've got that same sort of texture now that i could literally just cut to shape okay. and um laid down i thought the curves might be quite difficult but uh, i don't know maybe that's Maybe that would have been a better idea, but there you go. So once I've got my ballasting done, once I've built that up, I also need to think about, for example, I need to pathway here and here. So that's going to be dirt track pathway or maybe tarmac. And then what do I do? Yeah, so that'll also have to come from there as well, from the bridge, from the footbridge. I'll have pathway here from the footbridge uh, off the side and 
along obviously here and there so off there and here and there um dirt tracky stuff and then i don't know quite what i'm doing here because this is actually right in the middle of an area that you wouldn't have general access unless you had like a little bridge here but um for the for the sake of suspension of belief i think i'm going to leave that sort of like that it's just going to end up too busy otherwise i might have just a little footpath crossing across there but yeah so i'll have a lot have like a more sort of um brownish kind of outside with the tracks being a bit more grayish so it's coming on there's still questions of quite how i'm going to finish it off but i think as a basic concept that's really starting to look like something that's going to be be a good looking set to play with and of course all the buildings are going to be removable because i do have to think about storage this one will fit in under a standard double bed um although i'm going to have to think about something to cover the ends because it's going to be maybe six inches eight inches that pokes out so maybe a headboard or a footboard or something like that 